Hello and welcome back to our Delta Worlds with your true Lord Zindra the Mad. Now, right, I need to hold the transition between territories. Right, to the cantina we go. Because. You think corporate's ever gonna visit? I sort of want to mention that, that they're planning on replacing not you, a big drinker, are you. I'm not, no. Why do you ask? Where are we headed? You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you about. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? You sound worried. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. I'm going to guess you're not a drinker yourself. Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't and then... Well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. No, 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 don't apologize. If you want to talk about it, I'm happy to listen. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. We'll get you mostly drunk at half the price. Spacer's choice. I'll be on my way. Okay. Pick up sealed bundle. We have found Ludwig's secret weapon. Right, this is the exit towards Silas. Right? Yeah, this is the exit towards Silas. So let's tell Silas that everyone has paid their fees to some extent. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. What are you talking about, Silas? Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. I'm sorry, Bravati. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? We need to talk about you, Jean. Yeah? What about him? You first. I know you buried him. Well, yeah. That's what I'm contractually obligated to do. What's this about? Never mind. Let's talk again. Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. <laughs> uh, about those fees you wanted. You run into any trouble? It's all done. Paperwork, fees, and signatures. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. I went out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Thank you. I was hoping for something more tangible. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Good question for you. Yeah? Have you ever heard any news about the Hope? The colony ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the Aether never to be found again. <laughs> Ain't heard that one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing, far as rumors go. Is there a reason you're asking? I don't understand. Are you saying everybody's forgotten about us? Hope's just a rumor, friend. Ancient rumor at that. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero-g brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. I don't understand. They said the colony was expecting us. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop, or there's gonna be trouble. Where's the trouble in asking a question? Trouble's in the asking. Or don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. Let's change the subject. Something I can do for you? Nope, see you around. So they still take... find me agreeable? But there's also the fact that I just keep asking about things. Are they implying that the primals are philosophists? Heard something outside the walls there. Hey, sure no. Right. And no, I'm still working on Die Robot, as far as I know. You think corporate's ever gonna hit me? This should be the right door. 
So is Terra to the planet or the system? I would assume it's the planet. Bring us honor, soldier. Found the package mentioned. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Sounds like fun. Fun? This ain't some quarterly performance review, soldier. Ours is a grave and sacred duty. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Don't worry about that, I already got a passcode from Reed. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. I was supposed to get one of these logic modules. There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're gonna have to find an intact model somehow. Right, is a logic module something you could help with? I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. What are you planning? Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are gonna rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Each water is the middle of nowhere. You don't have a contract. Well, contract. excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. Didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. Seems simple enough. If you die horribly. I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Uh, something, something that ails you? Get out of there. Okay, let's look into giving some fun to our light machine gun. Because we have a Mac to sap. The Mac to power. Mac to power was what we already put on the other one. So let's put a Mac to sap on it. Yes. Nice. So now we have a light machine gun. <laughs> for electrical damage. And a shotgun for just standard utilities. Okay, let's take a look at our map. See what's around. Junkyard, river hideout, transport wreckage. Apparently we can just route these, is that right? No, I can fast route to my landing site, but that's about it. Okay, well, I wanna take a look around... ...this little... ...valley here. So we've got some friends here. A couple of canids. Few cannons. Okay, Ooh, your companion has leveled up and can be granted a new perk. Go to the companion page in your ledger and select the perk button for the things to see the perks. Makes sense. And I have also leveled up. We have both leveled up. Aren't you happy? Something you need? Uh, we'll talk later. I meant we'll go here, we'll give you your perk. Ooh. Threat generated, boisterous, base health. Yeah, that's handy. Ooh. 
Nice. That sounds like fun. Uh, cancel, apply. Then to character. We've got some skill points to spend. And fancy that, the majority of it is going into tech. Oh, my science can only go up to 50 with this. Okay. But I still need to bring engineering to 50 to be able to process further, right? Oh, they they were snacking on a marauder, apparently. Or was there a marauder here that I shot and in three lines I had shot? That's entirely possible. How close to the lava can I go without burning? Quite close. But there's probably no valid reason to do so. Other than science, of course. I mean, probably if I were like in a contained space with those, I would probably just light up and burn away. As a standard. Ooh, that looks hot. Yeah. It's a nice plant as well. Don't know about those marauders though. Let's try this out. That seems silly. Okay, well, we did well. I think the sword rifle might be the better choice. Ooh, what do you have, ringleader? Another light machine gun. Don't mind if I do. Another assault rifle as well. Very nice. Silver tank kit. Cool. I just tried to, you know, activate my vault, pip, vault boys. My pip boys uh, flashlight, because of course I did. Because this was developed by the makers of Fallout New Vegas and the original Fallout series. Are you guys friendly or are you just guys just... You guys are not angry. What makes these guys angry? Do they become angry when there's... When they're cornered? Because that would make sense. That would make a hell of a lot of sense. Because the current healing gear I have is made by Space's Choice, so it probably means it's not the best around. That's fine. A tactical shotgun. Ooh. 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 Yes, please. And that assault rifle. It has a diamond on it. Oh. That's not the best news I've had this day. Because you put the upgrade on the other one already. Right, well, I'm interested in seeing if there's anything around here that I can benefit from. Oh, hey, by the way. I nearly just walked into these guys. So these ashes have nothing for me? Up these ashes. Light pistol, and well, that's fine. Alright, are these explosive barrels? Is that something I could have utilized? Probably. Okay, well, let's look at the journal. Die robot needs us to go to the thing. Fistful of digits. I just wander around and the long tomorrow has us looking for stuff right here. So let's do the long tomorrow because this is where we are. Oh, hi. Oh, you're still alive. But no, you're not.
Come on. They're still alive. Is that all of them? Because I allowed myself to take a couple of vouchers there and I'm not happy about that. It's fine. It's fine. We'll regenerate. To help in our regeneration, we will use a nanner. We'll use a whole bunch of nanners. Wait, no, I didn't mean to equip that. I just want to... I just want to eat that. How do I just eat this? F. To eat the banana. But it's just a nanner, no banana. Banana. Only nanner, -er, no banana. -er. Okay, here's a corpse. Nice. Here's a corpse. Another corpse. Lots of corpses. I mean, that's... That's how you want to do when you're... Running into a mess like this. You want to be able to just go in the shoot everyone in the face and call it a very nice day. Well, we should probably keep our eyes open in case there's any more friends about. Ooh, I'm encumbered. That's fine. That's fine probably means we can't sprint. It probably means I should uh, look around first, and then when I find out exactly what I can break down, I will break those things down. But I don't know if it's better to use the... What should we call it for it? The vegetable call it being, of course, a workbench. Because I don't know if uh, using my inventory to break something down is less efficient than using alternative. Yeah, let, let's lock this pick. Pick this lock, even. I wish I could do that. I believe in you. Ooh, healing. The assault rifle, of course. Heavy ammo. A whole lot of shit. Yeah, I really need to find a workbench in this in the town. Right. Also, legs can be broken, but not very recommended to break. So this, these buildings have a bridge between them. Oh, the top floor has openable doors, so if I can get on the roof of this building, that could be helpful. I also want to go and get the mates from here, for reasons, quest wise. I'm not sure if I want to give these to Abernathy, or if I want to keep these for myself. I'm ready for this. Nice one. Oh, I can't shoot through the mess, it's fine. Got all. Well done. Well done indeed. So presently it's just encumbered while walking through the place, that's fine. Okay, please select the command. Encode first aid key card. Okay, logs. Synopsis, the history of Emerald Vale. A once complete will display the proud heritage of our settlement for generations to come, decorating the main hall of our noble communities and that this elaborate diorama of memorabilia of our settlement's funding will embody the hard work and spirit of our spatial family. 
The centerpiece of this grand exhibit will be taxidermized Mantic Queen erected within our main lobby as a sign of civilization's victory over nature itself. Cool. So essentially they had like real big plans for the place but they couldn't really carry those plans out. As well as they were hoping to. That's alright. That's alright, that's alright. Okay, there's some little buddies over here. But I don't know if they are... If they're gonna be spooked or not. And of course I can't sprint right now because I'm carrying... Tons of equipment. Which is fine. Okay, keep quiet. Hey, buddy, you okay? You're laughing a little, but this seems to be about it. There is, of course, the possibility that they are planning on amassing together a large a reptilian rat uh, attack group. Ooh, nice. Hey, you might like this, actually. Something you need? Your dad used to read this to you, didn't he? You alright there? Eh? Seem okay -ish. All right, let's enter the bathrooms, find loads of corpses. Surprisingly, unlooted. Despite the fact that they've been here with the Marauders probably for a while. Either the Marauders did not feel comfortable hacking, well, looting these particular corpses, or there's something else going on here. Okay, what do I have? <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. That's what I have. A whole lot of stuff. Hmm. Right, didn't I actually want to equip this? What the hell? I do actually like that. Hey! Yeah, huh? Wait, no. We talk later. I forgot your equipment management goes through here. So I can give you the light troop. Thingy. Well, I can now equip yours because yours is one point stronger in armor grade. Cool. And I can just break this down as well as this. As well as this. As well as this. And, oh, that gives science, actually. Science specifically, then. Hmm. And it has some sort of abilities to it. Okay, I'll, I'll keep it for now. It has equipment slots, which is good. Right, let's see what I... Uh, let's just start destroying things. Because... I'm just gonna make some space. I kept a couple of guns, just in case... I want to sell them. Because they're the more expensive ones. Nice. Oh, we just discovered the vending machine, so I could have just sold everything instead of breaking it all down. That's fine. It looks like someone has run out of... Whatchamacallit's them. Cracked on it. 
Not sure if tapping E repeatedly or holding down E is faster. Okay, so we got the medicine. We got the puppies. Hello, where are you going? We have a vendor here who sells us more of these helmets, which are basically handy. But apparently it's only a basic handiness. So we should have some more carry weight now for me to loot everything with. With complete abandon. I didn't even see what I just looted. That's fine. Got a got a big that bread. Get the bread. So by the looks of it, there was another way into the place. Here they come. Oh! We made. I didn't expect them here. I thought we were done. I thought we were safe. You okay? Like that, that guy's cool with us. This door opens up now. Did I previously not just simply not notice the door or was the door really unable, unwilling to open? Also, a Teak Saber, is that a quest item? Of course it is. Ooh, something we can uh, store in the room unreliable. That is something I wouldn't mind at all. Also, my ammo is absolutely no longer a concern by the looks of it. Seems everything's coming up nicely. Okay, let's sell some more guns. At the junk, of course. Okay. Oh, apparent. I should really look into what every skill does for me. Okay, now I understand why this option was not the first option. That we were offered. Ah. It's open. I can probably not run in close enough to the mines to disable them. Probably. I knew it was an option in the Fallout games, but this isn't necessarily a Fallout game now, is it? Should I try? Maybe not. Yeah, let's not try. Let's instead look at our next quest, because... We can turn in the medicine soon. Fistful of digits on Thai robot. Fistful of digits sounds completely fine. So our options are to go back to the crossroads over there and hunt down that guy, then go back over and then continue on from over there to the next part and then the next part. I think that's pretty good. As long as they are actually marauders, this is not something I'm opposed to. If they are, actually still working as deserters, that's gonna be a whole different story. 
All right. Okay, I think I did pretty well. Defending against this particular strike. I wasn't the one defending, was I? No. No. I feel like that was a pro that was some sort of propaganda coming out of my mouth. And not the sort of propaganda you would take to take a good look at something. You know how it is to take a propaganda. It's what, it's what British people do. They take a propaganda at something. Right? <laughs> This that's what I read on Dumbler. That come? A hunting rifle now, that might be useful. There's probably something I could put a muffler on. Certainly something I'm gonna have to look at once I have a chance. Another hunting rifle. Nifty. Ooh, canary. Do they have small cans here? I'm sort of curious, what armor did I just pick up? Ordnance control armor. It gives defense skills. Eh. Eh. Okay. It's a medium type of armor. And I just have a heavy type of helmet on me. Collect this letter. I just got the letter today. Corporate ordered me to relocate to the h uh, cannery. Effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community center. Selling rare memory of Belia. But scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. Don't want those uh, books smoldering in some contraband locker, so I stash them all away in a cave over by the river. Ah! So, this would have been like an earlier step to that cave I randomly wandered into. Sure. Okay. Clement Enrich from J. Patel. The theories. Clement, I find I must disagree with your theory about the Earth's director at place in the colonial system. Sadly, as much as I appreciate the board that the new frontier they opened for us, I believe Halcyon and all the other colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces of war amongst themselves if the Earth directorate wasn't around to regulate trade and settle disputes. Do you think the corporations would accept the mandated inclusion of an Earth minister if they had a choice in the matter? Of course you'd never dispute that the Earth is the heart of the whole colonial system, but the real adventure and independent spirit upon which humankind truly thrives is to be found out here among the first colonies. I still think you're wrong about the history though. The discovery of the skip tribe was not what gave the Earth directorate power over the corporations. The high costs of the Great War left them in a weakened state that the skip tribe was simply the extra leverage the directorate needed to return to power. Ah. Cool. Getting some information on how this all started. The new colonial system and all that. Ooh, yes. I can't wait to take a better look at my hunting rifle there. It sounds like it'd be a great time. Ah, so there was a way to sneak into the building from the other side. That's fine too. Oh, and there's... Boom. Oh. I didn't realize we uh, tore anyone up quite that badly. Yep. I mean, most of the times I fire at people, they just turn into... Mush. Right, this was the cannery. So I'm gonna assume it was like a... You want the cannery gift shop? I 
Who's been killing all these marauders? Yes, inside voices. Also, I'm in combat again. That's fine. But they certainly have marauders here, so if they're not marauders themselves... They've just been making bad friends. I have reason to believe that that marker there showed up red for a moment as if it was already also trying to fight us but I'm still not certain skies might be innocent yes the circus ooh shiny server I see some power armor stands. Nice. I don't think this game has power armor. Possess me. Bypass shunt. Don't mind if I do. Beat cartridge. Is there a flashlight in this game? No. What I do know is that I keep looting everything, which is... Quite the heavy choice. How are you doing? Oh, you are evil. Well, mean anyway. Hey, you okay? Oh, there's still a hooligan. Marauder, even. Hey, who are you? Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. You sound confused or possibly unscrewed. Only thing unscrewed around here is the head of that marauder you took down. Never seen moves like that outside my serial dramas. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I need you to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I'm impressed. How'd you pull that off? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. How are you even alive? I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me, they love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, must be my natural charisma. Are you from Edgewood? Edgewater. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them. Seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. There's something else, actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. I'll be back. Uh, I'm great at clarifying. I meant I'll be back. Which you... Yeah, fine. I don't get you. Okay, so we just got retrofitted heavy armor. Heavy power armor, so yeah, heavy weapons and minus stealth kills. <laughs> Plus it has a nice scarf. Of course it does. And what's this then? And that's the defense skills one. Ooh, lockpick increase. That's pretty good. A 
uh, be worth keeping in mind. I wonder if they have a work table around here somewhere. Could really use one right about now. Why do they never have cash? Oh well, well they might have like a vendor machine, vending machine around here somewhere, possibly. Would be nice. We could do with getting rid of some of this heavy shit again. Because I most certainly did not take the feat that allows me, the perk even that allows me to quick travel while I'm over in combat. Well. Oh, bracelet. Nice. I'm sort of wondering what would I give away? This part of the rock, I was like, what is that? Some sort of spoon? Spoiler, it was nothing like a spoon. It was quite unlike a spoon. Look, it's the mechanicals. Nice. Oh, we got some shears. They might even be lucky. If Conrad was actually someone, someone we could do business with, we could try selling him said shears because these might be really lucky shears, you know? Scrap mechanical, scrap mechanical to the Dune effects for Tanka. The Jeffrey Dalman. Uh, well, not Ian Anderson one? Ian Anderson? That one. Is it a mine? Uh, let's take a quick look again uh, at my weapons because I want to see which of these hunting rifles is the best. Which one of these is hunting rifles? These are hunting rifles. Oh, they use heavy ammo as well. That's fine. But I'm still curious to find out more important thing is, which is can I put a silencer on them? Cause that's what really matters. Whether or not you can use a weapon to kill shit silently. Here we go. I think it's on fire then. Okay, where's the last one? Ooh! Even got a kill cam! That's a first! I didn't even consider the possibility that this game might this game might have kill cams. Okay, that's empty. Here's some more money. Don't mind money. Money, money. In fact, I love money, money, money. Easy. And like this gun currently eats through enemies so fast, like uh, I feel like I'm still coming, like having a surplus when it comes to ammo. Plus, you seem to have your own ammo supply, by which I mean I don't need to give you ammo, right? But if I see her running in solely with her hammer, I will know that that is not the case and she does, in fact, need ammo, ammo, ammo. Alrighty then. Hmm. There was a way up from here. 
But that seems to lead entirely to a different location. That Marauder encampment. That is where one of those guys is. Okay. I didn't expect that one. Well, I'm gonna travel to here first. And we'll see what we can find. Might be something useful, might not. Ooh. Almost left the salmon behind. Oh, this is where the botanical lab is. That's great news. We have business here. I can even lower my gun. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. That's fine, I'm not looking. Hi. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Reed says something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Problem with Marotas? You don't know what enough with the questions means? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. Upbeat, the little strange loves results. Yeah, I miss Zoe. She was in a Marauder camp. Thank the Eternal. Wait, Marauder camp? Is she alright? You mean in the head or? Zoe's family. Chiding her is our purview, not yours. If you could bring her home, I'd be obliged. And if you could cross off some marauders on the way, I'd be much obliged. I've got questions about Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. How well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Okay. You seem so personable. Can't imagine I didn't get no. Let's change the subject. What is it? I'll leave it be. There's no reason to be extra rude. Also, out of curiosity. So this does 28 per shot. This does 66 per shot, but it. But it does have a little bit of a reload time, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh well. I'm just gonna see if they have one of those nice things over here that we can use. The workstation, I mean. I'm currently not looking into robbing them all because I don't have enough space to carry everything. Okay, uh, let's switch our quest to comes now the power. Yeah. Ooh, what's this then? We have a lot of various items. Are you a trader? You hungry? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snout too. Something I can help you with? What are you selling? Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Oh my god, these hats, this clothing, it's all fresh off the limb. Even Mr. Acid. Even Fiverr. Ooh. That seems like sort of, some sort of a special gun. Maybe not. It does go with a high price though. Okay, thank you for your time. Wait, wait, wait. I had one other question. Something I can help you with? Tell me about the one from your you number who's gone missing. Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Uh, what happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were gonna watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. 
Tell me a little about the bit about Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal, masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. What was that about surprising so? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest masked marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Any chance you can lend me that copy of the masked marketeer? Not much of a chance, no. Mind if I ask why you're interested? I see Zoe's living with marauders nearby and it's something to tempt her back to camp. Zoe's living with marauders? Yeah, that sounds like the sort of sideways, brat-brained plan Zoe'd come up with. Yeah, it could be you're telling the truth. Or maybe you're trying to wheedle me into relinquishing my only copy of the Masked Marketeer. It's a collector's edition after all. Look at my face. Do I look like I give a damn about your show? Yeah, you're probably right. A true fan would have displayed a gleam in their eye upon hearing the words collector's edition. Here you go. Latest copy of the Masked Marketeer. Tell Zoe we're all waiting on her. I've got some more questions about Zoe. I'll help if I can. Was she acting strange before she disappeared? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. I thought there was something else. Hey, I got time. No. Bye bye. No, you're just a deserter. That's an interesting name. I know it's not. I know it's not his name. I know it. I'm just being a silly, a doofus. Nice space you have here. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're barren illness, find a place to lay your head down, and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must bear the lead. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Is this your greenhouse? No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. I'm surprised you managed to grow anything out here. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago. But I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. Looks like you made a home for yourself out here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil. We put down new roots. Why did you leave your old home? It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert your power over to him. He mentioned the geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Your camp has a power regulator. I needed to repair my ship. Cannery 
cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. What have we got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. No, I, I would rather take it from the camp. Uh, the Alternative option. Obviously, the space's choice will not much approve of it. Speaking of, what is my reputation with them right now? They find me agreeable, but they do have one percent well, negative opinion of me already. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Not that one. Is that Thomas? No. Who is Thomas? Don't you so Thomas? Yeah. Talk later. Is that Thomas? That's just a deserter. Again. Ooh, that's a lot of mock apples. Okay, that's Adelaide. Yeah, I agree. It's a nice looking place they've got there. Themselves. I wonder what sort of fertilizer they're using. This does seem to work. Quite well for them. <laughs> Silver Dunkit. Mm. Guys, head to town. Yep. Because that is a good thing to have on a piece of armor. Helmet of mine. Another one. So is John on page 12. So that's it then. No more edge water for me. No more canaries, no more jumpsuits and clothes. Yes, ma'ams, and would you like another's? I don't know why I'm writing this down for what posterity says, because I've always hated the canary and I don't think I'll ever have to look back to this channel many years hence and tell myself, oh wow, I did hate the veil once, didn't I? Just because I got sick. Everyone gets sick. Well, okay, I got sick at the crowd a little too much at dinner time. Is it really a crime? I gotta treat myself when I'm sick, don't I? Whatever happens to personal responsibility and surviving by one's own bootstraps? How about you must misappropriate one box of adrenaline at time and suddenly you're committing larceny? Uh, yeah, it's sort of a larceny generally is considered, yes. But on the other hand, I, I. The sort of shit they're going through over there? That's not cool either. Are you Thomas? I was told about Thomas. Are you Thomas? No. Are you Thomas? You are Thomas. Oh, I uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh, well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Whoa, huh. Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh gosh, no, I I'm just along with this fella here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. I'm just trying to get my ship off the ground. Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off the ground, ain't we? Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. 
something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple of pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Well, do they... What about the third? I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Today's your lucky day, Thomas. I've got one of those that you wanted. No kidding! Really? Well, which one? Let's start you off with the part one. Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special. On the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. Well done, I got one more for you. Well, don't keep me in suspense. But do find the cannery. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. I'll let you know if you find any others. Wait, I want to ask you something. What's on your mind? How long have you lived here? Couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. What were you doing out in the wilderness? We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole, and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, well, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. I should go. How are you doing? Something you need? How are you feeling about this? Thomas seemed very fond of you. He's just... Interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. I've not lately seen a man with a bigger or more obvious crush. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Let's get back to it. Okay, well, I think I'll call this episode here because I'm doing pretty long episodes for this regardless, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.